7 questions with Stephen Brad. 7 questions with Stephen Brad. It's another episode of 7 questions with Stephen Brad. 7 questions and we have an amazing guest. You might know her as Dr. Obrecht, but we know her as Dr. Obrecht. No, Kathleen Gotti's with us. <laughs> <laughs> for a mermaid for Christmas. Yay! Boop, boop, boop. So we have some questions for you. Okay. Some may be some may be mermaid related. Ah, so, mermaid. so yeah. <laughs> so are are you ready for are you ready for the the burning questions? All right, yes. here we go. Here we go, Kathleen. Question number one: If you could travel back in time, what period would you go to? Oh, 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 oh! The eighteen hundreds. Yes. Why? I just think it's fantastic. Well, actually, probably earlier, but I love being women pioneers and oh. starting and building a new community and you know getting out there and building a home from scratch and building an area and building friends and building a whole life. I think that's just that sense of a, a you know a female pioneer is just to me just incredible. Those women were amazing, mm-hmm. and if I can't now, if you know, that's what I used, that's romantic to me. That's, I would love that. But now if I don't have my bath and my bubbles and, you know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. so I'm thinking that might be a problem because they didn't have that the same way. But otherwise, I'm, I'm just totally in awe of those women. Prince Eric or 1984 Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Prince Eric from The Little Mermaid had that really nice open white collared shirt. He looked good in tight pants, you know. But 1984 Tom Hanks was flash. I was, I was a dancer. I, I, I was ballet is my beginning. I spent 15, 20 years as a dancer, ballet, and all the guys were in tight pants. And, and, and they were lovely and wonderful and great friends. So I know those guys. I picked Tom Hanks. He's okay. my kind of guy. He's down to earth, but he's just... He's real. I like real people, but but the dancers are good with a nice tight. You know, there's nothing wrong yes. with that. They turn around, especially. Yeah. Well, Here's the thing. That? Also, yeah, that well, you said that, but Tom Hanks is funny too. So you got to go with the guy who's going to make you laugh. Yes, you got to have some laughter. You can look at the good buns and the good packet. Have you ever had a nickname? No. What? <laughs> oh my God! Yes. Oh, really? Do I have to confess it? I don't know. You don't have to. Really, you can you make a good to. one up. I've had many, but, but in school, I was chatty gaddy. Oh, oh go God. figure. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, I'm I never quiet guessed. and everything. And I, I'm demure, demure, demure. And, and, and they call me chatty gaddy because I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love to people. And they're like, could you go away? <laughs> so, so what's changed? <laughs> Nothing. If you ask my husband. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. actually, no, I, what, what really happened was that I was very sensitive as a child. It's a word I really hate. You know, they say, what's your least favorite word? Mine is usually no, the word no, but I think the word sensitive, because if I didn't hear it 5 billion times, I'd be a billionaire if I got a nickel every time I heard it. You're so sensitive, you're so sensitive. So I finally went, you know what? I'm going to make a living out of this sensitivity. And I have, thank Mm. God, let me knock on wood. You know, so yes, sensitivity has been paying the bills. So. Which company... Which company has a mermaid as part of its logo? <gasps> tuna, tuna, tuna fish, oh. bumblebee, bumblebee. Bumble. No, that's a bumblebee. No, no. star kiss. Chicken of the sea. Star no, kiss. chicken of the sea. No, chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea. Yeah. We all don't know. Okay, good. But you <laughs> were thinking about Starbucks. We also would have accepted Starbucks. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not a Starbucks person. I was thinking of Star Star Kissed. Star Kissed or Chicken of the Sea or yeah, yes. Chicken of the Sea yes, for sure. Chicken, yeah, good one. Yes, not bumblebee. That's good. That's a that's a that's a deep cut because uh, yeah, I, I we were we were assuming you'd say Starbucks because like that lady in the green thing is a, is a, is a mermaid. So, yeah, well done, you. Better answer. Awesome job. I'm doing good. <laughs> yes, yeah. you're doing great. Because <laughs> there is a grade at the end of this. Just so you know. I'm yeah. so terrible with <laughs> these questions. Like yeah. me up. Oh my. Oh my. No, God, there's no there's no me. there's no right answers. No, no, absolutely not. What is your favorite type of cookie? <gasps> oh, it's a long list, but um, um, <laughs> no, I said cookie, name. cooking or cookie, cookie, not cookies, <laughs> cookies. Oh, not multiple, 
peanut, peanut, peanut butter. butter. Okay, it's very simple. Peanut Give butter. Me your... If I got stuck on an island, I take two things. A jar of peanut butter, well, a jar of peanut butter, maybe a couple of jars, and my husband. That'd be it. Peanut butter. Peanut butter oh, cookies? Oh. Peanut butter cookies are your favorite kind of cookies? Oh, like 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 the traditional like peanut butter cookies that we that we have here, or is there some other kind of international peanut butter cookie? You know, I make stuff up. I mean, I, I think I'm like a mad scientist. <laughs> and I, and I, uh, <laughs> I, um, I, I take my bowl and I, and I start making things up. And I, I come up with all kinds of things, but I try to make them healthy, like throw protein powder and stevia and oatmeal and, and mm. um, you know, whatever. I just kind of keep experimenting. So it's always different. And, and, and one of the problems that I have, I, I'm writing a cookbook while I'm oh. – in isolation. Uh, it's nice. called My Life in Recipes. Awesome. And it starts Fantastic. out when I was a kid. You know, my parents are Hungarian. I grew up with those Hungarian food. My mother in law, uh, may she rest in peace, a beautiful mother in law, she just passed recently. She oh. was uh, from Lebanese descent and made the most amazing Lebanese food. And I've got mm. all these great recipes and things that happened as a kid when I was baking. I was my, my I come from four generations of bakers. Oh, so, wow. and, and artists, my dad was a symphony conductor. My mother was an opera singer, but my grandparents and great grandparents and cousins and uncles were bakers. So I'm kind of have this like, you know, kind of crazy person going, person thing going on in here. And I like to bake and cook and stuff. So, so I'm not always writing stuff up, but my biggest problem is I'll make something up and I'll write it kind of down and try to sort of remember it, but I can't repeat it. Oh. So now I'm now it's very difficult. Like when I had the baker in the restaurant, I had to work really hard to write it down. And now it's the same thing. It's a chore. Write everything down. It's like, was that a quarter cup of peanut butter or three cups? What movie do you think would be better as a musical? Is there a movie you can think of that you would like better if it was a musical? Wow. You know what? My favorite movie all, of all time is everyone's It's a Wonderful Life. Mm. you know when you're at the bottom and that you go down and we all have been there and go there and we'll go there and all that stuff multiple times and I just love that there's hope and that it, that when you stop and you look back and you say okay I was my path had purpose my re raison d'etre had meaning so I that's such a beautiful film I mean I don't know if they've made it into musicals and things but that it would seem like it would be ripe for music yeah for sure it would yeah, but what right? a story where each of us each person is valuable has value has touched this person and that person and if they didn't exist all of these people would have suffered all, you know so it's, it's just very poignant to me I think that ah, I love that yeah that's that's, that's a that's a good one do you have any irrational no. fears? <gasps> yes. Um, yes. I, irrational? No, they're all rational. <laughs> <laughs> irrational to you, irrational but person. things that other people might think are irrational. Um, um, you know, well, probably. But I mean, in the middle of the night, <laughs> I'm, I, I'm something. I think something crawled over my face. I freaked out it was probably just the blanket or something but i was like ah, mm -hmm. ah, ah, ah. and it took about three hours to calm down and so if i seem a little tired you know but um <laughs> but spiders just i mean these spiders things of spiders they make me insane all right this is a tough question is there one day that stands out in your mind that you had at general hospital after a particular run of scenes or a scene that you've done on General Hospital? It has to be the nurse's ball, cabaret, the, the one that aired just now. It, it yeah. was, you know, again, I danced for 15, 20 years. Ballet was going to be my thing. I had an injury and I studied singing and I studied acting. I dedicated my life to all of it. And bit by bit, I ended up just doing mostly theatrical stuff, some musical theater, but mostly to make a living. Um, I didn't want to sing in clubs for 50 bucks a night. And I didn't, you know, it's like I needed to make a living. And, and so the theater became, or the theatrical career of the theater, the film, television became the path for me. And I was able awesome. to make a living for, thank God, almost 40 years. And I'm grateful for that. But I loved all those years as a dancer. I loved all those years singing. So when I got the opportunity to sing and dance and act, on a stage, and I love doing theater, so much theater experience. I'm on a stage in front of my fellow castmates, in front of three, four million people, it was huge. <laughs> and, and, and I loved the piece, and I got to just bring who I'm, I am, this goofy, silly, love, love to sing and dance and act 
person. I didn't have to really do any acting. It wasn't a reach. Eight Broadway dancers, I could, I mean, like made me look great. They were yeah. fantastic. The costumes, the, you know, the makeup, the costumes, the hair, it was amazing. And so it just kind of like, what do they call it? When it all comes together, what's that wonderful word? Symbi- Kismet? Symbiosis? Symbiosis. No. Just everything. It was just like this great moment where all the years of work and study and, and practice and, and performing, and it all came together in this glorious- Synergy. Study. Synergy. <laughs> I'm like, where, where's my? I know. I, know. I was like, <laughs> come on. English, English <laughs> not so good. English, not so good. So you yeah, know, so that will we always stand out. That'll probably be the highlight of my career in some ways. Even awesome. though I've danced and I've sung and I've acted, but that moment of on General Hospital will, and probably in my career, will just always stand out. Working with everyone to make me look good, to make this great number, which is a cabaret, the real comment. It's a great number anyway. It was a big deal. That that will always stay in my heart. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Kathleen Gaddy, thank you Kathleen so much. Kathleen Gaddy, eight questions with Kathleen Gaddy. <laughs> thank you, guys. Love you guys. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, fun. Kathleen. Fun. Congratulations. <laughs> You're so awesome. Thank you so Same much. Same to you guys. Thank you so much, really. All right. Have a Take wonderful care. day. Hey, guys. It's Stephen Bradford from General Hospital. We have an exciting new way to get you backstage at General Hospital on our comedy tours and in our real lives. Exclusive content and a lot of access. Go to stonecoldyjackal.com and check it out.